Hello, 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 it's Superfly here for Games Lounge, and we're going to do some fixes on the division for the PC. Uh, a couple of people have been asking for this, and uh, I've just been doing a bit of research and whatnot, trying to find out things and collecting it all together in this tasty video. So, uh, without further ado, I'll crack straight on. Uh, if you get a white screen after launching, uh, according to Ubisoft, that is because it's an indication that your PC doesn't meet the requirements. Really sorry guys, uh, so you're going to have to beef up your graphics card or your CPU, depending on what it is that you need to meet the requirements. If you go to the Ubisoft website, you'll be able to find the minimum spec there. Okay guys, a couple of you have actually said um, you uh, you can't even boot the game up. When you do, it just crashes you straight back to the desktop. That could be your drivers uh, for your graphics card. But another good thing to just quickly check is if you go to uh, C Drive Users, your profile name, so the that's the name that you log on or sign on into Windows with and go to my documents then my games and then you'll see the Tom Clancy's of the division folder Double click on that and you'll see a range of files in there one of them is called gfx settings dot rogue dot x64 dot xml that file and I will put the the name of the file down below that file if you open it up and edit it in Notepad, you will see uh, a load of graphic settings in there. If you look through it, you might be able to change the resolution, or you might be able to change it to full screen. And you can also change down the settings, so things such as um, the settings that might be set to ultra or high, and your graphics card may not be handling these properly. You can change them and change it to low or high if you want to change back up you can basically it's a manual way of changing all your graphic settings without being in the game so this might help those people whose uh, game is crashing back to the desktop and um, we've got a couple of general things just to try here again i'm scraping the bottom of the barrel here guys i will be doing some more research on this but uh, some general things just to try if you're getting frames per second stuttering i would suggest your defrag a good one to use is jk defrag i believe it's under a different name now but i'll put a link in the description down below and if you run that on the hard drive that contains the files for the division, it will defrag them and uh, you'll you'll find that there'll be a, a much better, a smoother performance from the access, the read and write access of your hard disk. And uh, that will show in the gameplay as well. Uh, C Cleaner, a couple of people have said that this works for them. Now, I wouldn't recommend this for anyone who doesn't know what the Windows registry is. But if you're still willing to take that chance and you're desperate, run it. There is a registry cleaner on there. And there's also a temporary files cleaner on there as well. If you just run those two and see what happens. Again, I don't recommend it if you don't know what you're doing, but it's up to you. And uh, Steam, if you're running it through Steam or you purchased it on Steam, run the validation tool uh, on, on that. If you right click on the game itself and select properties, you'll see the validation uh, prompts uh, tabs at the top of the dialog box that pops up in steam so guys if any of these have worked please take time to comment let us know what has worked let everyone else know what has worked and also like as well and we're going to still scrounge and scour the internet for any more tips trips and fixes for this game so please subscribe and like and then you'll find out straight away as soon as we do we'll upload okay thank you bye